we are back. With more political intrigue. Well, guys, we are talking about political stuff, but we'll stop it now because... Hey, look it. It's a bunny. Oh, wait, what is that? That's a, that's a one goofed up bunny. Oh, oh look. Oh. I actually trust the man in the tube more than I would trust a bunny. Yeah. Honestly. You might, you might trust them more. Did you know that you can eat all the bunnies in the world and still die from starvation? Yeah, because they don't have enough um, fat on them or whatever, fat soluble them. fat or something like oh, that. Oh, you cheating! Now, I don't Men know. Men in black ripoff. I don't know 100% how true that is, but I've heard it from multiple sources over the years, and it might want to be those fake truths. Like and it it really goes into my truth of hating rabbits and bunnies. So, I'm okay to accept it and be a biased opinion. <laughs> my brother recently became a vegan? Vegetarian? Uh -huh. And even he would eat bunnies because he knows pure evil when he sees it. Well, I don't know about that. I, I, I mean, he's, it just if goes he's to, a vegan, he probably would I eat I can a relate to something else. So, when I was in high school, uh, probably as a junior, I was given a secret field trip by my English teacher. What is a secret field trip? That sounds illegal. He wouldn't tell, he would tell the parents, but he wouldn't tell us where we were going. Okay. And I didn't want to sign up for it. Prison. I think he told my parents. But well, he would have to. He had to not. I don't know. One more bullet. Very nice, dude. That so up slash was he perfect. He wouldn't tell me where we were going. And when I signed the form, he had to convince my parents, like, no, he should totally go. He's this open house or some bullshit. I told them, like, uh, I don't want to go. You're going to want to go through the top and kill the machine in the, in the middle first. And then slow down time, reflect bullets and shit. There you go. Oh, get a bullet dodge. Got it. Very good, dude. Yeah. Wait, wait, you were a kid. He had you sign something? He had... He really suggests, I can't remember if he talked to my parents or not. I think he called my parents because I told him this I'm not was gonna, years ago. This was years this was ago. 13 years ago. I'm pretty sure I said, or more I was at ago. this point that I was really tired of this teacher. I had him for two classes. I had signed up for, I had him for English and I had him for English and the Arts, yeah. which I thought, cool, learning about art history would be fun. Uh, not so much. Yeah. Did he not make it fun? No, he, uh, he had gone crazy at that point. He was fun my sophomore year, and then by my junior year, I wanted to moidle him. So can you use that to light the box? I was gonna it's say. not a... Oh, yeah, it's not an exploding one. Oh, jeez! I don't know what you're going to have to do here, man. Oh, it's a... Uh, it's a remote. That's the remote one. Oh, no. Huh. Well, you're going to have to do the slice and dice. Well... Yeah, that's going to be hard. That's going to be a really hard one. What I think you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to climb up with the remote mine. Ugh. You're gonna have to climb up with the remote mine, throw it, and explode it immediately. And still hope that you're not being tracked Where'd bullets. you come from? He came from the tippity top. He's coming down, or he will. I think, because you see the doorway there? He's about to come down. Get down here! Uh, cheating bitch. Oh no! You really oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to use the remote mine on him. I'll tell my story in a minute, guys, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, that is the... Well, you just killed the Wanderer. You killed the Wanderer. You killed the Wanderer. Damn, I was hoping... And now you're fucked, you're fucked, you're fucked, you're fucked, you're fucked, you're fucked, you're fucked. Yeah, you have to definitely set it on the crowbar, dude. One of them. So, wait Come for here. it. Wait until he's Come directly here. above you. There you go. There you go. Now wait. And... and fire! That'll take care of him. Very smart. You killed him so early earlier. Can you hit the camera? Oh, I guess not. You're fine. Is a knife. Where's my bat? I wonder if you could. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. I wonder if you could uh, uh, hit the camera and put. Or uh, not hit the camera, but fling. Uh, let the camera see you as you were standing underneath the thing that comes down. Oh, oh no! And potentially get crushed by the wall. Oh, thank God. If that was going to just be in Hotline Miami bullshit. That would be some Hotline Miami I would have been really upset. Hide! Blah, 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 blah. It's time for you to give up the brain. Give me the brain. Going to plug it in. So, uh, you, I was asked by my trip? teacher to go to the on this field trip. I had him for two classes, but at this point, he had become very frustrating as a teacher. Uh -huh. He had become... Let's just say we had differing viewpoints of the world, even at my young age. You as a child and an adult teacher? Yeah, you go figure, right? Um, that seems weird. You guys were so, uh, you were so much peers at that time. <laughs> Behold comedy, the wayward swordsman awakened from the poison slumber. <laughs> it's getting exciting, isn't it? The first stack's climax doth approacheth. Uh, climax. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. 
these So he wanted to tell us where we were going on the field trip. Yeah. And I was already very adamant not wanting to go, but he called my parents and asked them to <laughs> convince me to go on this field trip and that it was important. I think he told them what it was, but at this point I was fed up with him. It was in almost, I don't know, we were two th thirds through the year or something, so we were almost done. Uh -huh. And I didn't want to go. I was like, I don't want to go there. I, I'm in band. I'm going on trips all the time. Bullet dodge. I don't want to have nice. to deal with this. Please don't make me. But they ended up telling me to go, and I wasn't. Well, your parents, knowing where you was, probably was like, oh, yeah, it'd be good for him, or it'll teach a valuable. The part that has me confused is, um, if what are they hiding? <laughs> hiding it from you. I don't know. Damn, dude. You're doing hella well. Please let there not be any. So what was it? Where were you going? So we ended up taking us just to this farm, just in the middle of nowhere. Uh, mm, with the hill was, in the back? It was a vegan farm. Oh, now I see. Full of chickens and turkeys. And you know what? <clears throat> After that experience, I was already in a bad mood as What the was. fuck? A I gun? got a gun! I was gonna say, can you shoot it or you just throwing it? I used it properly. <laughs> gun safety, folks. <laughs> gun safety, unload it, and then throw it at your enemy's foreheads. Make sure it's a make sure it's a nine inch fucking barreled magnum. So we have to listen Taurus to Taurus brand. Now I have nothing wrong with being a vegan. I commend you. If you live that lifestyle, awesome. That's not me, but that's okay. Uh, but anyway, so I'm stuck on this farm for not even just a regular day. This is like a long school day. I don't think I got home till like seven o'clock. Holy shit, so, they had you after hours? Yeah, we were there. There's for, a lot of veganing going on. That was a long time. I mean, it took forever to get out there. Uh -huh. He was trying to show us a different experience, and in some respect, I get that. But the fact I, that he I wouldn't get tell it me too, but it sounds awfully politically motivated. It, he became very politically motivated. It felt very um, against what you should be doing as a teacher. Yeah. Uh, try doing the laser grid thing. Can, will he walk into it? No. Okay. Whatever. Very nice. And then jump up. Hell so yeah. stuck on this farm, trying to listen to people give the spiel so about I, why I'm chickens and cows should be preserved or yeah, something. Yeah, I'm confused about what a vegan farm is. I understand they don't I eat don't them. Yeah, but either. Well, I was trying to. Figure what is the point of a vegan farm? I don't know. I think it was like an animal sanctuary or whatever. Because chickens need sanctuaries. I'm confused. Ah, uh, uh, don't throw it! Don't throw it! Don't throw it! Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I don't understand. Did. Chickens need sanctuaries? They're not endangered. I'm like, still hazy on the details myself, but being there stuck all day, listening to someone prattle on constantly while chickens and turkeys are being the most obnoxious, annoying creatures. Chickens would be kind of crazy. Around? It became a lifelong thing of, you know what? Fuck chickens, fuck turkeys. And I had a neighbor who had chickens. Chickens are some prick animals, man. God, they're honestly. super annoying. Uh, they also fucking violently rape each other. Yeah. Like, and you can't have multiple males around because they're so aggressive, they'll kill each other or, you know, do, do other terrible shit. I just remember shit. we had a really nice, uh, I think it was like a vegan breakfast, not breakfast, lunch afterwards. It was really good. Like, the food there was really awesome. I really <laughs> liked it. And he's like, oh, so did this change your mind? Are you glad that you went? I'm like, nope. Did it change my mind? Did it change Why my would mind? It? I'm a fucking kid. Yeah, he was trying to base his political agenda on me. It's like, nope, this is the exact opposite of what you want. Now, I feel <gasps> satisfied murdering I chickens. saw you were gonna do that as soon as you threw it and dropped, I'm like, no, <laughs> uh, No, I was, I, I had that same counterculture, defiant lifestyle point of view as a kid too. Uh, my parents went through a divorce early on, so I went through uh, like, uh, I don't know what you would call it. Like psychological style. Um, what, what, psychological trauma? No, 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 no. Like uh, having someone like ask you psychological questions. Like the classic Venn diagram, or not fine, Venn diagram, but the classic uh, ink blot test and stuff oh, like that. Oh, the Rorschach test. The Rorschach, thank you. Now, they didn't do the Rorschach on me, but the, it was a lot of that. So a lot of How my early many guys are in here. Why not? So don't goof it up. There you go. Oh, bottle! Gotcha. Uh, so a lot of my early childhood became a game of why are they asking these questions? What do they want to know? And I'm very interested in psychology and trying to figure out how the human brain works. Because 
this, uh, you're going through class and everything, but everybody asks you a question is asking for a test, right? Mm -hmm. It's always tests and quizzes and stuff in school. So I'm like, how do I answer these questions without messing up the test? Did I only die once during that? I think you did. Wow. Well, I mean, on the replay, you only died once because it doesn't play all your unsuccessful ones. So ah, you've arrived. <laughs> I was hoping that we'd be able to finish what we started. This should be fun. I can't help but see the Monster Hunter, like, doodle neck I can't help things. but see. Ooh. Uh, so a lot of my early stuff was like, oh, you're trying, I can tell you're trying to make a political point, or you're trying to make, you're trying to make uh, some kind of uh, test here. So my idea was always wow. like, how do I beat this test? Or how do I go counter to what I think you're trying to get at? And if I feel like you're trying to manipulate me, I am going to be completely counter, even if it matches up with my own personality, because, hey, I feel like you're trying to dupe me, and I don't feel like that's respectful. Yeah, I think Very that's nice, dude. easily what made me the most upset was not the fact that I was taking there. It was did the you fact do that? Did you do no. the jumpy? I, yeah, I did the jumpy. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. That was smart. I think you probably could have died there. I think I could have, too. Beep bop boo. You're a no. You're a gamma, just like those other people. My Jersey accent keeps the changing. Now it's a uh, Christopher Walken. <laughs> I thought 15 and I were the last no left. Al Kasim paid me Kronos to kill people. That's why you're here, right? Kronos. I don't do it well because I haven't seen him in forever.